Many people spend endless spiritual lifetimes trying to change form. You realize how many spiritual programs have to do with form? Don't think this, think that. Recontextualize it this way. Don't think of its opposite. You know, prefix it with if, but, yes, or no. Trying to change form is not going to work because the ego, the mind, is uh, like the heartbeat, destined to do what it does. Why should the mind stop thinking then and when that's what it's supposed to do? <laughs> All right, so what does one realize out of this? If you watch the content of mind going by willy-nilly like a madcap insane asylum, you realize that you are not the mind. If you were the mind and you told it to stop, it could stop. Mm, we notice then the first most important thing that's going to take us out of it uh, is that it's impersonal. The most stunning thing to learn about witnessing the content of your mind is that it's impersonal. Like the heartbeat, like breathing, like your toenails growing. It's impersonal. It doesn't ask you about it. Your toenails don't say, should I grow this month? <laughs> it's a sort of a physiologic, spontaneous activity, thinking this. So don't be disturbed about it because uh, it's doing what it's supposed to do. You can't really be worried about the content about it because no matter what trick you try with the content, it's smarter than you will and it would trick you in some other way. You say, don't think about this, good doesn't. He thinks about that instead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the first thing you notice is that it's endless form and it's unstoppable. Trying to silence your mind is idiotic. And millions of people do that all the time. Trying to go to sleep at night and they're trying to stop their mind from thinking. Uh, what you notice is that it's impersonal. It does what it's doing of its own. Hmm, wow. So you stop identifying with the content of thought as me. It's not me. I can put you under hypnosis, program your mind, you wake up, you think all that, and you think, I thought that. You didn't think that, idiot. I thought it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the first thing we can notice, how do you know what the mind is thinking? How do you know? How do you know what, what is this... How do you know what's on, on that channel? You know it because it's registering. It's registering. Ah, so we're out of the content of mind, and now, and well, I say, if I'm not the program, then maybe I'm the VCR. Well, you're getting closer. <laughs> yeah, we're aware of what's going on in mind because it's registering somewhere. It's registering somewhere in consciousness. And it's being recognized. One of the functions of, you see, this mind is doing what it's doing, but that's not what's bothering you. What's bothering you is that you're registering it. You're aware of it. You're recognizing it. And who is doing that? The watcher is doing that. The experiencer is experiencing that the mind is doing all that. How do you know that the experiencer is experiencing because there's a watcher experiencing it and below that there is awareness. So the identifications of who I am, first as we sit in meditation or as we go about the day, is not the content of thought. It's not the content of feeling or thought or imaginations or memories. It has to do with closer with some impersonal function called registering. Even the recognition of, if you recognize a monkey as a monkey, that's not a decision that some personal you made, that happens of its own. So that's trained, that's trained. So these things are trained, they're impersonal. Experiencing and watching is also impersonal. It's a phenomena occurring of its own. So you see, we, we begin withdrawing 
It's like we draw back further and further from mentalization more to the field. So the field is watching, experiencing, and we become aware that this is impersonally happening within a field. The self, the self is not the content. The self becomes, you become more aware of the self as the awareness. And the awareness is coming out of an aspect of consciousness, the observer-witnesser, the observer-witnesser.